Hey guys, welcome back to Caught in the Kitchen. I've got I've got Freddie with me again today. And um, what kind of a day are you having, Fred? Lego day. A Lego day. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, and I made a jet yesterday. He wants to show you his jet. Double fire. Freddie had a really good idea that perhaps he could issue a, a Lego challenge every week. <clears throat> and this week's Lego challenge is to build some kind of creative, amazing aircraft like this, but not like this, because it's something that you create. So give it a go, and if you do, leave a picture of it in the comments. All right, this one's got flames though, so it's pretty cool. Twice. Two rows of flames. Uh, so I'm having a bit of a tough day today. I don't know why, I feel pretty flat and dumb. Um, just sad about what's going on. It's a bit unfortunate when you can't see your friends, isn't it, Fred? It's a bit unfortunate when the jet crashes into your head. Totally. It's the worst. Uh, anyway, I've been doing a few things to try and help me stay positive during all of this. Um, yoga, uh, meditation, uh, journaling, Learning things about myself. Yeah, can reading. We just make that now? Totally. Thanks, Fred, for the hurry along. Um, and you know, listening to podcasts and things like that. But come on, let's make a cookie. We still have tough days sometimes, uh, and that's okay. Like today, Fred, did we do any schooling? Yay! No <laughs> we threw schooling out the window today. My window. Bye. Wow. Uh, and send a message. No and if you'll see oh, yeah, down that. here, Freddie's favourite colour is red when it comes on. Uh, we've got our little diffuser <laughs> sending out beautiful, you know, scents into the universe or kitchen. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, and I just thought I'd quickly mention what we've got diffusing today and every day at the moment. We've got organic rosalina and spruce black. Um, which helps with congestion. Mm -hmm. Red! Shh, red. It was red though. Uh, it helps okay. with congestion uh, and, and fortifying the immune system. Um, organic lavender and marjoram for, you know, relaxation and chilling out. I've lost Fred. And I'm organic ready. lemon or orange, depending on what we're feeling uh, on the day, uh, for that you know, citrusy boost of energy. Um, so anyway, that's a lovely thing and I thought I would just share it. We're also having vitamin C on the daily, vitamin D in the form of drops and the sunshine if you've got access to that. Um, all those things are very good things for guarding against um, respiratory complications and again, no, look at my the on my jet bro. Um, we also do magnesium and zinc at night in drops in the kids milk and um, probiotics so anyway who knows if it helps I'm hoping it does okay on to today's project Freddie do you want to tell the crew what we're making we're making cookies cookies hooray chocolate chip with some uh, orange zest for a bit of orange yep so Let's get started. Fred, are you doing this or am I doing it? Um, when I come up, you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna start. Uh, this here is two and a third cups of almond meal or almond flour. This is blanched, uh, so into the bowl it goes. I'm tipping the dry ingredients in first and then I'm gonna stir it all together and add the wet ingredients. It's a one bowl job, okay? This is coconut flour and I've got a third of a cup here. In it goes. Oh, Freddie's here. I've also got two thirds of a teaspoon of bicarb here. Without looking, that's pretty cool. We've got half a teaspoon of salt. I can see, I can see on the phone. Mm, that's true. Three tablespoons of, oh, what is it? It smells disgusting. Oh, that's offensive. It's like my favorite, uh, coconut mm. sugar. In it goes. Oh, it smells so good to me. Um, you can replace that with stevia or whatever you like. I would prefer stevia. Whatever your preference is. Stevia, you'd prefer stevia. What does it smell like? Uh, sweet. Mm. Uh, so, like salt? that's our dry ingredients. 
everybody. It's Fred. Do you want to give that a little bit of a mix up? Oh, goodness gracious. Can you watch though? Because I don't really want it flicking everywhere. We had a bit of a chia seed incident last week. Like chia one. Goodness gracious. That was pretty terrible. Oh, that's pretty terrible. I almost hurt myself. Like I did. Oh, gentle. Oh, I didn't hit myself with a rubber. I love how silly that you are. Except when I don't. Like the great Lego fiasco of today and yesterday, where two of my boys mixed up all of our Lego that I had neatly separated into snack lock bags and put them all together. Yeah, and it was only a dog. And I was cross. <laughs> but I didn't yell, did I, Fred? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> no, I simply raised my voice. No, you slightly. Anyway, so... <laughs> I see this all year again. Now we're moving on to the wet ingredients, okay? So we've got egg. two eggs, lightly beaten. Yeah. And for those of us who don't eat eggs or choose not to, I love um, eggs. You Ooh, can replace eggs. these eggs with two chia eggs or flax egg, eggs. Um, but I, I generally use chia eggs where I. Grind up finely, mm, I did grind up finely um, some chia seeds and I measure out two tablespoons after grinding for two eggs, otherwise one tablespoon for one egg, and three tablespoons each of water, so six tablespoons and two tablespoons of chia seeds for two eggs and mix all that together and let it sit for uh, five minutes or so to chill, uh, become gelatinous. You've got the peanut butter. We don't need peanut butter today, but that can mm. sit there and be a part of this with us. Okay, can you tip this in? Hi, I'm talking to Cod in the kitchen. My name's Stinky. That's not how I sound. Huh. Um, this is a third of a cup of coconut oil. Plus, I'm not cooking that way. Plus two tablespoons. So a third of a cup plus two tablespoons of coconut oil and a third of a cup of honey. I'm just mixing that in together a little bit. Fred, can you put that down? Yeah, I'm actually really hungry too. So let's get these cookies made so that we can have one. I want to have a peanut butter cookie. Yeah, do you know what? Let's totally do that soon. Because who doesn't like peanut butter cookies? Me. I don't know. No, Here, take this in. What, you don't get, what is that? I just said if you were listening, you would know. No, okay. Is it honey? Yes. And <laughs> coconut oil. Okay. Oh, guys. It's been cripped up in this house for too long. Can I eat chocolate? Well, at least I've got good company. I'm not company, I'm a little wow. speck. You're great company. Oh, Ready? Yeah. I bet you can't guess what this is. Oh, uh, yeah, it's vanilla extract. Oh, it is vanilla extract. For the first time ever, we've got it correct. For the first time ever, I didn't even know for the such first time ever. At least I'm not alone. I don't know if that's the words, but frozen in there. Pop that in. Now this is just orange. zest from one orange. Can you put it in please? Uh, oh. zest. And put it in. Yep. Good, good, good. And then we'll give that a wee stir. Why can't I get this stir in? Yeah, you can stir it. Here, I'm going to actually swap this one. Can I just swap it though? No, you can't. Can I swap it for this one? There you go. Yeah, it doesn't look very good now. Um, the wooden spoon, the old wooden spoons is. So once you've put the wet ingredients in with the dry, give it a bit of a stir around Can until it comes together. That's what Use your muscles, Fred. It's looking pretty delicious. Can I eat it? Uh, not yet. Um, Okay, so we'll stir in the chocolate chips now. We've got 100 grams of, um, this is lint 78% um, yeah, that I've chopped good. into um, little chip sized pieces. And um, that's it's two thirds good. of a cup as well if you don't no, have no, no. Um, a scale. It looks like a chocolate chip, a big huge chocolate chip. Get it Fred, get it. Is It looks like a big huge chocolate chip cookie. Can I Ugh, eat it? I love cookies so much. There's no more cookies but then, at night time while I'm well watching this. Kim's Convenience, all the cookies disappear somewhere and I... Oh, D-A-D. Dad. dad. Yeah, definitely Dad. <laughs> anyway, um, if, you know, chocolate chips aren't your preference or you just feel like something a bit different, another 
combo that I love is um, dried apricots chopped up finely um, or you can buy them diced and save yourself a step there and um, macadamias oh, it's so good um, you can leave out the orange zest for those ones or not whatever 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 okay I'm all done. so yeah. now that this is all kind of stirred through I'm going to wet my hands a little bit Freddie's gonna wet his and we're going to roll these into tablespoon size balls like heat tablespoon size balls and slightly flatten them out with a fork. Okay. Happy open this peanut butter So down. we'll be back. Welcome back. Here are the cookies. We've made 20 with our batch. Um, we've got a few others on another tray over yonder. So we're just gonna put, now the, ba the batter is very sticky. So you've gotta have wet hands and you've gotta wet your fork when you're lightly pressing them down. Um, otherwise, you've run, to eat, run into some trouble, won't you, Fred? <laughs> so we're going to pop these into a 180 degree oven for 10 minutes and then we're going to leave them to cool um, because they will be very, very soft when they come out. Uh, so we will be back to show you what they look like um, when they're all golden and delicious. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Hello, welcome back. So we've just taken these guys out of the oven. <laughs> so good. I will say though, maybe check them at like eight minutes just in case, because these are a bit on the golden side, although I really like them like that, so I'm totally fine with it. Um, oh. Yeah, they smell divine. Freddie's eating one fresh out of the oven, so it's crumbling, crumbling away, melting in your mouth. Um, and I am, definitely going to go and have one or five of these thank you for joining us <laughs> now to that 